Hi, Hi Ted. It's great to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate you coming. I'm uh, I, I'm I'm a little skeptical on these, so I I keep interviewing you, but uh, I, I know that I've had students that have been very successful doing the tax liens and stuff. Just review for me for two seconds what the tax liens are. Okay. Well, tax liens are issued in half of the counties in the United States. So the United States has 3,000 counties. Half of the counties authorize the county treasurer to sell tax liens. Now, what that really means is that state and county is very benevolent. Now, what do I mean by that? All right, they're benevolent because if you don't pay your tax, the government has the right to move you off the property, confiscate your property, and resell it. But in the tax lien states, they're benevolent. And they say, look, people didn't pay their tax. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell a tax lien certificate so we have money. The county wants money. What does the county want money for? Well, they have to pay for the police and the fire department, and the school teachers, fix the roads. They have all the, all the things that county does. All right, so they need money, and the people didn't pay tax. So they allow those people to stay in the property. So if you buy a tax lien certificate, you've got nothing to do with the real estate. You, don't, you can't go there. You can't bother the people. You have no right to the property. All you have a right to is this certificate. So it's basically an alternative investment that I believe is the safest one in America. Why? Because when you buy it, what you do is you invest your money with the government. And then when you get paid, you get paid from the government. That's so a safe investment. What do they do? Send you a check every month? Uh, I mean, they pay good interest. Right. 15, they 20, 18 percent. Uh, what they, they can't send you any money because they don't have any money. So when the people come in and pay, they will call you or they will text you or they'll email you and say, send your certificate back. You send it back and then they do a check. Now, actually, it's much more refined from that. As soon as they know that they've got the money, they'll text you that they put the money in your bank account. That's what they do. Okay. It's that sophisticated now. So I don't get anything until they pay off. The you have to wait taxes. for the people to pay their tax. But if the people don't pay their tax, you see, when I buy a tax certificate, as soon as I get a tax certificate, I go home, I get right next to my bed and I start praying that they don't pay. Why? Because then I get the property for just the back tax payment. Oh, okay. So what are the tax default properties then? Is that the same thing? It's the same thing in a tax default property. What happened there is you don't find out about it until the county has already pushed the people off the property and now they're putting the property up for auction. So now, it, you said half the states are tax lien. Right. The other half are tax default property? That's right. Okay. Half and half. All right. So, so, so California is a tax defaulted auction state. So that means California. Now, this is not all California. This is one county. This is just Los Angeles County. That's their list. And if you saw the list, if you could read it, it won't be hard. There's not the right light in here. But if you could read that, this, this booklet has about 1,500 properties that they're going to sell. Now, they're going to auction those properties to the highest bidder. There's no way they can get them all sold in one day. It's not going to happen. They never can get them all sold. They always have too many. So which what, what, get, what are the best states to do this in? The best state is always the one you live in because you don't have to go anywhere and you don't have to travel. You can just go look at the property and whatever. So it's always right where you live. That's the cheapest way to do business. But if you're going to become a professional at it, well, we can teach you to do that in just a matter of weeks because now all of the auctions have come online. So we can teach you how to buy it online. So our investors in Canada, United Kingdom, out there in the islands, anywhere they have an American bank account, anyone that does that. So people you know and you've met at my events, they actually live in Costa Rica because they want the nice temperatures and the rest of that. So they buy, in, they buy the properties in Los Angeles online from Costa Rica, but Costa Rica allows you to have an American bank account. So as long as you have an American bank account, you can do it. Do attorneys and, and title companies and all that, are they involved in this process? There's no one involved except you and the county. There is no attorneys, there's no middlemen, there's nobody else. You're buying directly from the treasurer. So you might get a, a deed 
that's a treasurer's deed or a, or a, 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 a tax collector's deed, but they all have the same effect. They're all quit claim deeds. They're always a quit claim. So the, the government takes no responsibility, but you'll get the property directly from the government. The government's confiscated the property. And that's who you get it from. So if I've got $50,000, what do I do, Ted? $50,000 in your big boy and you understand real estate. Well, then you want to start, you want to start tracking the different auctions in, in your state or in a state close by. There's going to be too much. You can't do it all. So you're going to have to pick two or three areas in the United States that you want to buy. And then you can buy and you can stay home and do the whole thing. For example, I have people that are within 25 miles away. You're sitting right now in Utah that have never been to Michigan, yet they've bought as many as 15 to 25 properties in Michigan, some of which they keep and they do rental agreements on and other ones that they've resold. They've never been there, but you do the whole thing online. What's, what's the cheapest you've ever seen somebody get something for? Oh, you know, if, if, you're, if you're in this business, I call it the world of the weird. So I'm going to tell you how cheap you can get property. I'm going to show you a couple of those. So first, one, I'm going to tell you about a newspaper editor from Alabama. He said, I've been following these years. I don't understand it. Teach me how to do it. So I taught him how to do it. All right. Tax lien certificates are sold by two entities. Tax deeds are sold by two entities. The two entities are the county or a municipality. All right. Now, if you're in the West, you have no idea what a municipality is. In the East... There's not only there's the, the counties, but they also have smaller governments, municipality. So he called me on the phone. He said, Ted, I went down to the municipality. I can't get the word out. <laughs> and they had a property for sale. It was only $300. I said, I hope you bought it. He said, no. He said, I didn't believe it. Are you sure this is legal? I said, of course it is. You're going to buy it from the municipal government. So he went back. I told him, go back the next day. He bought a two-bedroom, one-bath house for $316. He called me up. He said, I got the property. He said, what should I do? I said, why don't you sell it? He said, oh, I don't want to sell stuff. I want to buy stuff. I said, well, then why don't you rent it? He said, how much should I rent it for? I said, I don't know. I'm not in Alabama. I said, call around the neighborhood and see what people rent for. So sure enough, a young kid came to him. that was just going to college, just got married. His dad gave him $5,000. Maybe it was six. I don't remember. Five or six. Said, son, here's the money for your rent. That young kid gave him the $6,000 for one year rent on a house he spent $300 for. So that's about as cheap as you're going to get. But I'm saving one real special for our last interview. So we got to finish this one. When we do the last interview, I'll show you the best one I've ever seen. Okay. Well, if I get the tax deed thing... I get the property. Am I responsible for the water and electricity and all the rest of this? What, okay. What's my liability? I'm always worried about that. When you, when you own property in the United States, you now are a landowner, a property owner, and you owe taxes. If you have electricity on that property, you have to pay for it. If you get water, you're going to have to pay for it. If, the, if it's in disrepair, the county will come out and cite you if you don't take care of it. It's 100% your, your, your responsibility. So what do I do? I say, look, buy it low, sell it low, get the cash and come back to the auction again because nobody knows what the hell we're talking so about. Just this business has been around for 200 years. Can I put it on a credit card? Ah, well, not many people ask me that question, but the answer is yes, at least really? in Michigan and in New York. I bought nine properties on a credit card in New York. I had students that have bought 30 to 40 properties in Michigan, using a credit card only. What? How about the uh, the mortgages that are on these? I mean, they've all got to be mortgaged. These people, they're defaulting on taxes. Properties, Trust me, they don't owe them outright or own them outright. Okay. So here's where you give the government a lot of credit. So what the government does is they say, we're going to notify, we're going to, we're going to put the property in default didn't pay the taxes. Then we're going to notify everybody that's on title. So what on title be? You and I, our wives, or or whatever, are on title. Every mortgage holder, any lien holder, is going to be on the title. So they notify everybody. That's called due process, as you know. All right. So they notify everybody. But if the bank doesn't show up, or 
I come from the foreclosure business for 30 years. I can tell you right now, all those notices come into the bank, all these, they're so used to getting them that that new trainee just puts them in the drawer. She doesn't know who to give them to. And they don't even show up at these auctions. The, the auction can't take place until the mortgage holder has been notified by the county. And believe me, if you went to the record, there's a record like this, you open it up, you'll see all the registered letters are listed right in there with the dates on them and who signed for them. Every one of them will be in the file. So if I buy the tax deed, can the mortgage holder people come in and, and take it away from me if they pay it off? No, they lose their interest in the property. The so they've already, has the power. they've already had their legal shot at the property before I, I, I get the tax deed. A tax auction is the easiest auction to stop in the world. All someone has to do is go pay the tax and the auction stops. All the government wants is the tax. They don't want those darn houses. So the mortgage company, the owner of the house, uh, the the guy who's got the contractor that's got, they've all been noticed. Everybody's noticed. They've had their shot at it. If it if it, if the gavel falls at the auction, it's mine. They can't come when back. The gavel comes down, it's over. And they've all had notice for, oh, uh, in Michigan, the county will own the property for a year, which is bad because they don't take care of it. We'll have owned the property probably for a year before they even have the auction. They can't go back and redeem. There's no redemption. There's no anything. They have to, they, they have lost the property, but they have been given due process. And you can go to any file of any tax auction and the file will be, well, it won't be as, as thick as that. It'll be a file at the county records will be about that thick. And it'll have every single page of everything the county did to let that property owner know. So they'll give them six to 26 notices. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. So you uh, actually get a property free and clear of a mortgage or a deed of trust. You were going to show me a last testimonial or something? No, I'm going to show you that in the, in the last video. We got one more to go, okay? When we okay. go to that one, I'll show you another. But let me okay. look. I've got, I've got so many things. Oh, you know what I have to show you? This is amazing. This is amazing. So I've got clients in Canada. So they call me up and say, what's the best county? Well, just so happened, one guy called me, and it's two weeks before this auction. Two weeks. I said, you got to go to Los Angeles. He said, oh, I don't want to go to Los Angeles. I said, look, from Vancouver down there, it's just, just a couple of hours you got to go. He said, oh, Ted, why do I want to go? Why, I don't want to go to Los Angeles. I said, so, so sure enough, I got him to go to the auction. Well, he got there, and there was 2,000 people in the room. 2,000 people. That, the auction started. They were selling property fast as they could sell them. If, you, if I could click my fingers like, like that, that's how fast they were selling property. So the auction got all finished. And I had already told them, just let the auction go. And when it's all done, they'll have a whole bunch of leftovers. So the sheriff, the, the treasurer came up in front of the group and said, all right, well, we're so done for today. But we've got some leftovers. You guys want to come back tomorrow? Come back tomorrow. Well, all the guys have planned it. They planned one day. So, of course, they didn't come. So, the next day he went back, there was still 500 properties. He bought, and I'm going to show you a video of this. You're not going to believe it. He bought properties in Los Angeles with no mortgage, no deed of trust, for eight and a half cents on the dollar. Watch this video. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now, we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes. And they had over 3,000 properties. And that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Renee Goche from Surrey, B.C. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale. Bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown L.A. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. 
What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the profit he made, just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? Okay, now there you have it. That, he that's sold incredible. the properties and he gave an 80% discount and he still made the kind of money you just saw. He sold the property with an 80% discount because he bought it here for eight cents on the dollar and he sold it here and there was still all that left on the market. Folks, so you can do the exact same thing. You're going to do a full day with me, uh, with my students, your students, and we're going to go through this step by step. Is that what's going to happen? That's right. I am. Um, I bring in every month, I bring in somewhere around 120 to 140 people. You get them all in one place. We do a virtual event. So that means you can stay home. The next one that you can attend will be October 22nd. It's a Saturday. Starts at 11 in the morning. Goes to That's five Eastern, in the right? Afternoon. All right. Pardon me? That's 11 Eastern. 11 Eastern. Yeah, thank you. So 11 o'clock Eastern. Then it runs through until 5 o'clock Eastern. And it's instruction for the whole time. Now, you can sit at home. You can eat your, eat your lunch. You can visit. You can do whatever. You can, but you want to be there at that. And it'll be constant content, constant content. And then the last 20 minutes, I tell you how you can get involved. I'll bring my other coaches. I have My co average coach has been with me more than 15 years. Uh, and they'll come and they'll actually teach your classes on how to buy tax defaulted property for 10 and 20 cents on the dollar and sell it sometimes for retail, but most of the time for 70 and 80 cents on the dollar. We'll teach you how to do that. And it's an amazing class. We, I've been doing it for same class in, in different variations for over two years. It's absolutely amazing. People from all over the world will be on, on that because we, uh, we let people know on my YouTube channel about it. And so they come from everywhere. Now this is October 22nd. October 22nd, 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, okay. cool. All Thanks, right. Ted. I'll see you on the last one. All right, sir.